Hey, there's another tutorial for y'all. As always, I'll refer you to my magic tutorials disclaimer at the bottom. If you've never seen that before, you should watch at least once before watching any of my tutorials. For this, it's always good if you have a trick where you can mix the cards up and, you know, give a nice good shuffle like that. You know, a little table cut of some kind. And then hand them to the spectator and say, all right, what I want you to do is cut these into four about equal packets and just you might demonstrate first, so just about like that, and then have the spectator do that themselves. They can come wherever they like, and then you ask them, all right, move the top card from here to here for me. And they do all the moving, I just would just be pointing. All right, now move from here to here. All right, now move from here to here. And from there to there. And from there to there. All right, now move from there to there. You know, move this one from here to there. And that one from there to there. And move this one from here to there. Move that one from there to there. And move that one from there to there. And then you ask them to turn over all the top cards. And you get the four aces. Now this is, the general name for this would be spectator cuts to aces. There's probably a hundred ways to do this or more. This is a very simple easy method here I'm going to show you that's also fairly deceptive. Start out with you have the four aces on the top of the deck. Now word here about tricks that require setup like this one. Uh, you can do this if you need just one or two cards set up a lot of times you can get those into place in front of people just kind of casually cut the deck where you need to have a certain card on the top or something. For something like this with the four aces that's going to be a little harder to do. Tough to get those in position without uh, someone knowing it unless you know some pretty good sleight of hand tricks. So what you can do instead is you can have this set up ahead of time and do this trick first or whatever trick it is you want that requires setup. Or you can have more than one deck of cards. Do a couple card tricks for somebody, put your cards away, do a coin trick or something, get your cards back out, and then you pull out your other deck that has the aces on the top and do this trick. You know, so things like that. So what you're doing is, when you shuffle here, just make sure that you have a, more than four cards fall on the on that top side so that the aces don't get disturbed. They stay on the top. And practice that a little bit to make sure that you can do it reliably without screwing it up. If you realize you did screw it up, then just move on to a different trick and don't try to do this one. And then when you do the little cut, you can do all kinds of you know fancy stuff to mix things around. Just keep track of which of the piles was the original top of the deck and make sure you put it back on top at the end. And then, so you have the spectator cut four piles. And you don't have to try and memorize that sequence I showed you earlier or anything. What you're doing is you just, you know you've got the four aces on the top over here. So just make it up as you go. That's what I just did a second ago. And just have them move some cards around one at a time. Just, you know, whatever you want to make up on the spot. Just kind of have them move a bunch of stuff around and just keep track of where those four aces are as you have them move. And then when you're ready, have them turn the top cards over. And they'll have no idea how that worked. You can even, like, you can move an ace and have them put another card on top of it. Just remember that you got an ace second from the top here, and at some point you just move that out of the way, so now you've got an ace on top again. So that's uh, a nice simple spectator cuts to aces there that really requires almost no skill whatsoever, just a couple good memory skills. If you want a very simple version, you can do this. Have them cut the cards once, tell them to move the top card over, cut the cards again, move the top card over, cut the cards a third time, move the top card over. You don't have to remember anything that way, it's a lot easier. And that actually... And it, a lot of people won't realize as they're doing it that they're just taking the cards from the top of the, de the deck every time. I know it seems ridiculous, but that will fool people a lot of times. Not as uh, reliable as the other one, where you move them all around, but definitely easier. So there's another option if you want to use that. So that's Spectator Cuts to the Aces.